I thought it would be good to just kind of go over everything at least one more time. So I really hope that you guys have liked my room tours in this apartment for the past two years. Um, I am moving. Hey YouTube, it's me Eri, and as you can see, it's finally here. Um, the room tour in the new apartment. Yeah. <laughs> so I will start this video by saying that this is not only a long time coming, but it is not done at all. You know, there's still some stuff in transit, stuff uh, coming here uh, that I've ordered to fill in some spaces and stuff like that, but you know. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty clean in my opinion, and let's get on with this part of the video. So I'm going to start with a lot of my wall stuff. You'll see probably like this way, there's kitchen and stuff like that, so I'm not going to really go through that because that stuff isn't really fully done yet. But to start, we can see that the Osamatsu tapestry is now at the doorway between the Wii world and the real world so to speak so that is fun uh, it's pretty nice when you walk underneath it it likes to flutter up so I thought that would be like a nice framing thing over here we have the fire emblem wall um, you know all of my fire emblem prints are over here um, and then I also have my three houses prints and a um, Robin and Lucina over there um, I've gone through these prints and stickers and stuff like that so many times, so I won't, but it is pretty nice to see them all in one space. Um, I have a little chair here that, uh, you know, it's mainly over here for when company comes over. Uh, it's easy to pull out, and nice little spot for it. And that is my Nendroid storage with two new boys that I need to put into the drawers. <laughs> Um, next we have this gigantic shelving unit thing that I kind of built out of some other shelves that I had. I really wanted a statement piece here um, to just like house my figures and some plushies and manga so that is what I went for. Um, yeah there's still some empty shelves you know this is Luffy's hat and some prints that I got to deal with but at the bottom here we have art books and like game guides and stuff like that. Empty shelf for the time being. And then this is a lot of my like BL. Uh, I don't really collect BL manga, but I do have some series that I like. Uh, we got Love Stage, his favorite, Given, some random little books. Uh, Kagake Shoujo, um, this was a really good read in my opinion. I did enjoy it a lot. And then my uh, Zelda box set. Got a Taito Miku here. I believe this is her fall traveling version. I think so. And then we have my Is the Order of Rabbit set. There. 
up above we have volumes kind of one through eight it's weird um of yomuji petal volumes one and two of horimiya and volume one was a real issue to get for a while so i'm glad that you know this has finally been started we have one and two of water dragon's bride demon prince of momichi house um, Toil of Hanukkah kind of course, and back there is Rinne by, um, Rumiko Takahashi. Then we have another Taito Miku, looking cute. Got another Taito here, looking cute. We got Hanako-kun, Nendroid. And then we have my little Zombieland Saga section. I'm waiting to this day for a Saki Nendroid. I love Saki, but I doubt that we'll get one if she hasn't come out already. And then my next shelf up is most of my Golden Kamui collection. Uh, the newest one just came out, so I haven't grabbed that yet. And then we have Hell's Paradise, which I started reading, which was actually really good. I recommend that if you like really pretty but gory art. Um, behind my Space Patrol Luluco art book is volumes 1 through 5 of Drifting Dragons. And um, a random volume of something back there, one, some one-off. And then I have uh, Lulu Co and the main girl from Asteroid in Love. Um, I really like her little telescope piece. I thought they would be cute together because they're both little space people. <laughs> and then the birthday Miku from Taito. And yes, mine does have the creepy smile. My top shelf here is mainly just a bunch of plushies. Uh, my Nabora and Megumi have fallen over, so I'll have to fix that later. But yeah, it's mainly just a bunch of plushies and some Jujutsu Kaisen. I got these. And they are bootlegs, but I had to keep it because look at that UG. He is insane looking. But just some stuff up here. At the top shelf here, we have some scale figures and androids. Um, my Persona 5 print with my Persona 5 dancing uh, scale figure. A, an amazing Oran High School Host Club print because that series needs a lot more love, I swear to God with my Arena scale figure from Food Wars and then my beautiful Hifumi witch version scale figure from New Game and then we have another Food Wars uh, we have Megumi from uh, Food Wars <laughs> and then we have Micah from Blend S right here so yeah, I think it's a cute little like framing thing in the middle there the next section down though, we have a lot of completed like Kodansha stuff. Um, this is not completed yet though. I have one through six of the collector's editions of fruit baskets, the little Togu thing here, and those Kyo and Yuki sitting figures. I thought that was a really nice little like section. I do prefer the original run of the anime, so I am not watching the anime, but uh, I heard that, you know, you guys are finally getting to some of the later stuff. Exciting. Next we have volumes 1 through 3 of Tokyo Mew Mew and then Tokyo Mew Mew a la mode, so this is a complete manga collection. Um, I love Tokyo Mew Mew, I'm really excited for the revamp series and I hope that more merchandise comes out. <laughs> And then, this is something relatively new, we have volumes 1 through 4 complete of Kitchen Princess, which is a series that I read when I was in middle school and I absolutely loved it. And as you can see with this little Zenitsu bookmark, I am currently rereading it because nostalgia. And then behind my bookmark cup is volumes 1 through 5 of After the Rain complete with a Hotaru and Renge Nendroids. Excited for the other two girls to come. <laughs> Under that, I would say that this is my demon falls in love with girl shelf. <laughs> um, I have all of Kamisama Kiss except for volume 21, which is now just sold out and like so hard to find, which is so frustrating because I'm literally one volume away from being done, including having both ending versions. So I'm very angry about that. And then we have volumes 1 through 12 of the graphic novel version of Inuyasha. So this is technically complete according to the graphic novel run of the series. So that's pretty cool. And then we have volumes 1 and 2 of Mermaid Saga. 
and then the Yuri on Ice Androids, and the school version of Asuna with a little plant. And then underneath that, we have some more manga, including the other school version that goes with the Asuna figure of Yuki. And behind her is volumes 1 and 2 of Wizards Blue, and volumes 1 through 4 of Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. And then we have my Ancient Magus Bride manga collection. Absolutely love that series. And then my Oran High School Host Club box set with a little Haruhi and Tamaki acrylic stands. And Elf Yamada and Sagari here. And then underneath that, uh, Princess Jellyfish, Wotokoi, Sweetness and Lightning, um, and My Interactionist Boyfriend. Just some more series. And then the Osamatsu Boys and some random manga that I don't really know what I want to do with. And then, similar to the other shelf, this is another framing shelf. We mostly have video game plushies here. Um, we got some Fire Emblem, Pokemon, Kirby, that kind of good stuff. And then over here is some stuff by the door. My uh, uh, time I got reincarnated is a slime stickers, Demon Slayer print, and then a Golden Kamui print. Because <laughs> I like Golden Kamui a lot. Next, we are starting with... My My Hero Academia collection, uh, this is up to date with volume 28, and then we have volumes 1 through 3 of Vigilantes, and then volumes 1 through 4 of Food Wars, with an Asta figure, and then my Osamatsu Brother collection. And then underneath that, we have volumes 1 through 22 of Noragami, which is also up to date, with the completed collection of Dead Man Wonderland, and in front of them... We have, um, oh goodness, his name is blanking on me. Shinra Kusakabe from Fire Force, uh, the Kill the Kill Nandroid collection, and then my Yui from k -On, who I love. Underneath that, we have some more miscellaneous action-y series, I guess I would say. Um, we have Spike's Family, volumes 1 through 5, that's up to date. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 1 through 7 of Arc V, that is done. Uh, volumes 1 and 2 of the Dragon Ball Omnibus. Oh, we got some Slam Dunk, Black Clover, Naruto. Yeah, a lot of random series that either need to be continued or retired. And then we have a cozy Miku alongside the k Girls. Next shelf down is a little uh, chaotic. We have the Konosuba Nendroid collection, missing, you know, a couple people. Some pop figures, and then some series that are going on, as well as some light novels behind the Overlord Volume 1 light novel. And then underneath that is my Jump collection. <laughs> For real? Quite a statement, if I do say so myself. With this nice little uh, card capture soccer magical girl circle rug, which looks a lot bigger in person, so that's a pretty good start, I'd say, to this video. And then this is we got some Dragon Ball figures there, went to welcome people when they come in. And then on this wall, next to the door, we have some prints and some bowl, or, uh, keychains. We have Hanako-kun, my Demon Slayer squares, next to my Demon Slayer uh, keychain board. And now I've started a small Jujutsu Kaisen one, because I really like Jujutsu Kaisen, like a lot of other people do. And then under that is just kind of my miscellaneous keychain pin board. Got some Inuyasha ones, um, Ranma one half. My Hero, Miku, Dragon Ball, you know, random stuff. <laughs> so on either side of this wall, it's a very um, symmetrical wall because we have these two giant windows here. And so I decided to get two of these tables to put on either side of my TV console to use. Um, this one has just like some art books on it, a couple little figures. Um, I mainly have this set up for like packages and stuff like that to set down. Um, it's mainly for looks, I won't lie. <laughs> and then next to that we have one of these lights, and above that is my, uh, Pokemon pin collection, and 
my Pokemon X Mire Hero Academia Girls print, which you have seen many times. <laughs> Next is my Makashima Yusuke and Yomushi Petal Shrine. I have hope every day that it will come back, but it probably won't. And then we have my cute pink girl uh, little section with a Sakura Miku Taito figure. And then some exclusive game boxes down here. Next is this massive TV, which was a gift. And you can see some stuff in the background. Um, and then we have these little framing pieces for our game consoles and game area. Um, we have new game girls. Uh, we have some Zelda Nendroids, Persona 5 Nendroids, um, Animal Crossing, Wind Waker, Breath of the Wild, Kingdom Hearts, and then Senmon Sakura, which is kind of a game. And then in between here, we have a Switch dock. This is my Switch. That's not my Switch. And then we have some um, Sarazanmai acrylic, or they're more like rubber stands. I don't know. They're weird. And then up here, we have Umaru, uh, Weathering With You, which is a great movie. Uh, Fire Emblem, more Fire Emblem with corn in the back, which makes me sad. I gotta rearrange that one. Pokemon, more Pokemon, Sonic and Layton are down there, and then more little Mikus. And Sonic and Layton hide behind my Wii U tablet, because I've been playing Twilight Princess HD. <laughs> and then under that is, oh, excuse my finger is um, some acrylics, uh, Playstations, Love Live Girls, um, anime magazines behind them, controllers, systems, that kind of stuff. And then after that, we come to the next lamp that has the My Hero Pokemon boys over here. This is the newest setup I have. I'm really excited because I have gotten into Haikyuu <laughs> because of my friend Betty and Cookie. And I have collected the entire Karasuno team in a very short amount of time, but I love them all. My favorite is Asahi. And of course, if you know, Android was really hard to find, but I did it. And then underneath them is my beach setup. We have um, Breakwater Club. Squid Girl scale figure, a Hikari scale figure from Amanchu, and then these two Sega prizes. And then some stuff with a waste paper basket. <laughs> and then next to that is the other side of the symmetrical tables where we have some pens. I do use this sometimes as a sitting desk. Um, my computer's moved at the moment though, but usually there's a laptop here. We have a small Inuyasha section being started in a Gashihime area. Oh, there's a house across the street, don't mind that. We have Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen. And then we have some plants with a Sakura Miku and the Jujutsu Kaisen soundtrack. All in all, I'm pretty proud of this little area. Um, I love that carpet, so it's pretty comfortable to sit on and lounge on. Um, I made that Squirtle pillow forever ago, but I decided to keep it because I was kind of proud of it. And then we have a gloomy bear down there, which hides some more little storage boxes for art stuff. But after that table and after that carpet is my detail. <laughs> the top is not done. This is another thing where like I need more stuff at the top, but I have my, oh gosh, I, I want to say it's Conti Collection X Lucky Star but with a little fake plant. But underneath that is my Yuru Camp shelf with my um, really cute Yuru Camp wall scroll of uh, Rin and Nadeshko. Those two are my favorite, so like, uh, that's why I have a scale of Rin and Nadeshko. And then I have the season two version of Rin, um, the little plum figure of Rin, the main cast. <laughs> little picture I got off of Ren and Nadeshko off Etsy. And then 
the second um, or the plum version of Nadeshko. I have the plum versions of Ina and Oi also pre-ordered and the season two deluxe edition of Nadeshko. So this will get changed around eventually. <laughs> Underneath that is my Overlord Shrine with the stunning wedding dress Albedo scale figure. She fits so perfectly in with the 1 7 scale from Good Smile of Ainz. I am so happy I got her and I love this setup so much. Oh my gosh, I love Overlord. <laughs> Underneath that is a very full and ever growing Demon Slayer Shrine. Um, I really like Demon Slayer, it, it's a pretty good watch. Um, I have other anime that I like more than Demon Slayer, but I'm still really happy to have this little shrine, and it is growing. <laughs> and then at the bottom, we have a very mishmashed My Hero Academia boys only gang. I don't dislike the girl characters, but I just, I don't know. Their androids don't really vibe with me. We have the infamous Yomushi Petal Pennant. It has made it this far. Let's see how much longer it'll make it. And... We have another shelf here. This is mostly, excuse me, my Time Recovering Print is a Slime collection with my a My Hero Academia print poster behind it. As you can see, I love slime. I have a lot more slime stuff on the way, including the season two version of Rimuru's Nendroid, the scale figure. Um, this is a garage kit that I painted myself. Yeah, I really love slime. <laughs> I really hope they make a human Veldora um, scale figure or something. I really love him. And then that's the DVD uh, special edition for season one. Underneath that is a little bit of a racing Miku and Miku section. I don't have too many Mikus and I want to keep it that way, but the ones I do have I really like. And then we have a bit of a Zelda and just kind of a video game shelf. And then <laughs> Next to that we have the DVD and video game wall shelf um, with some LEDs. This was definitely something that we didn't know was coming with the apartment when we rented it. Um, it was hidden behind a tapestry when we were like doing an apartment viewing. But no, it has definitely been a great inclusion. I mean, it's pretty well accessible. Um, we have PlayStation 4 at the top, and then Nintendo stuff, um, and then PlayStation 2 and 3, and then anime starts there. There's still room, you know, I can still move stuff around on that pretty well, but I, I really like it. And then there is a One Punch Man shelf there. or er, not shelf, goodness, print. <laughs> After that, we turn and we see the real statement of this room, the coffee table, and my couch. Um, this couch, most of the furniture came with the apartment, uh, give or take a few pieces that you guys have seen before, but this couch was one of the things that I was torn, but I did want it, but it was so beaten up on the cushions, and as you can see, it's been reupholstered on a lot of the main cushions because it was so bad, but I think now I've made it pretty comfortable and great. Um, there's my laptop on a little side table, we got some Jujutsu Kaisen pillows, uh, a Sailor Moon pillow, got some various anime plushies, and a Hinata and another Sailor Moon pillow. And then we got some anime magazines on this big old coffee table, and I really like this coffee table because we have these cubes that are little like storage ottomans that you can like slide in and out. So that is a pretty cool coffee table in my opinion. And one of the cubes is missing because, of course, my partner took it. And then behind that, which is probably going to be the end of this tour after I go through it, is this back wall. Now, this back wall is very much still not done. I need to get more prints. Um, but what is here is we have some of the Hanako kun prints, um, this amazing Jujutsu Kaisen like end sequence print collection I got. We have a little Howl postcard print. Up top, we have some uh, Studio Ghibli, like movie posters. We have a Ryuko print. Sorry for the glare from the window. <laughs> um, and then we have the rest of the Hanako-kun little cube. 
or not cube, oh my gosh, um, square prints. <laughs> I'm thinking of this thing over here when I'm saying cube, which is my Nendroid CD shelf that has been wall mounted and has LED strips around it to really make it radiate for people when they come in. At the top, we have my JoJo collection, the newest additions being Joseph and Caesar. I love them, oh my gosh. Then we have my No Game No Life set, and then the rest of these are really just one-off random androids that have no series or no collections. But we have um, a Golden Kamui, a Serpa, or Aspera, I don't really know how to pronounce her name. Then we have Nemesis. Senku, who just went to space, apparently. L'Oreal. is everyone's favorite. Um, Yue. Katarina Klaus. Hestia. And last but certainly not least, Holo. And with that, that is really the end of my little section. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new and improved uh, main room. Um, it certainly is a work in progress. There's a lot of holes on the walls and stuff like that to patch up, but you know, I'm going to be here for like the next year or so. So I'm definitely excited to see how this place turns out. Some figures were missing and that's because they're in the office, which is not my space to really show off. So I won't be, but I'm sure if you ask Topher the Gopher, uh, on Twitch really nicely, he might do an office tour. But for now, I'm Eerie. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please consider giving a like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.